Hello dear students. I am Deepika. I have made this video for you all so that you can understand the chapter in a different way. Here I am going to start with chapter 1 The Earth in the Solar System of Geography for class 6. Dear students, how wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset. One would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Along with these bright objects, you may also see the moon on most of the days. It may however appear at different times in different shapes and at different positions. You can see the full moon only once in about a month's time. It is full moon night or purnima. A fortnight later you cannot see it at all. It is a new moon night or amavasya on this day you can watch the night sky best provided it is a clear night do you wonder why can't we see the moon and all those bright tiny objects during the daytime it is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to see all these bright objects of the night sky the sun the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies the whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects some are bright others dim it seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds they all appear to be twinkling some celestial bodies are very big and hot they are made up of gases they have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts These celestial bodies are called stars. The sun is a star. Countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun, but we do not feel the heat or light, and they look so tiny because they are very very far from us. You must have noticed that all the objects look smaller when seen from a distance. While watching the night sky, you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. Ursa Major or Big Bear is one such constellation one of the most easily recognizable constellation is the small bear or saptarishi it is a group of seven stars that forms a part of the large ursa major constellation in ancient times people used to determine directions during the night with the help of stars the north star indicates the north direction it is also called the pole star it always remains in the same positions in the sky we can locate the position of the pole star with the help of the sapt rishi the solar system the sun eight planets satellites and some other celestial bodies 
known as meteoroids and asteroids form the solar system we often call it a solar family with the sun as its head sol in roman mythology is the sun god dear students solar means related to the sun the family of the sun is therefore called the solar system the sun is in the center of the solar system it is huge and made up of extremely hot gases it provides the pulling force that binds the solar system the sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system but that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star it is far away from us the sun is about 150 million kilometer away from the earth the word planet comes from the greek word planetai which means wanderers there are eight planets in our solar system in order of their distance from the sun they are mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune an easy way to memorize the name of the planets in order of their distance from the sun is my very efficient mother just served us nuts all the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed paths these paths are elongated they are called orbits the earth on which we live is a planet it gets all its heat and light from the sun which is our nearest star mercury is nearest to the sun it takes only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit venus is considered as earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the earth till august 2006 pluto was considered a planet however in a meeting of the international astronomical union a decision was taken that pluto like other celestial objects discovered in recent past may be called dwarf planets the earth the earth is the third nearest planet to the sun in size it is the fifth largest planet it is slightly flattened at the poles that is why its shape is described as a geoid geoid means an earth like shape conditions favorable to support life are probably found only on the earth the earth is neither too hot nor too cold it has water and air which are very essential for our survival the air has life supporting gases like oxygen because of these reasons the earth is a unique planet in the solar system from the outer space the earth appears blue because its two thirds surface is covered by water it is therefore called a blue planet our earth has only one satellite that is the moon a satellite is a celestial body 
that moves around the planets in the same way as the planets move around the sun. The moon's diameter is only one quarter that of the earth. It appears so big because it is nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies. The moon is a companion of our earth and moves around the earth in about 27 days. It takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. As a result, only one side of the moon is visible to us on the earth. The moon does not have conditions favorable for life. It has mountains, plains and depressions on its surface. A human-made satellite is an artificial body. It is designed by scientists to gather information about the universe or for communication. It is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the Earth. Some of the Indian satellites in space are INSAT, IRS, EDUSAT, etc. Apart from the stars, planets and satellites, there are numerous tiny bodies which also move around the sun. These bodies are called asteroids. They are found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. The small pieces of rocks which move around the sun are called meteorites. Sometimes these meteorites come near the earth and tend to drop upon it. During this process, due to friction with the air, they get heated up and burn. It causes a flash of light. Sometimes a meteor without being completely burnt falls on the earth and creates a hollow. Do you see a whitish broad band like a white glowing path across the sky on a clear starry night? It is a cluster of millions of stars. This band is the Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system is a part of this galaxy. In ancient India, it was imagined to be a river of light flowing in the sky. Thus, it was named Akash Ganga. A galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases. There are millions of such galaxies that make the universe. It is difficult to imagine how big the universe is. We are not certain about its size, but we know that all of us, you and I, belong to this universe.